What happens when you open the piggy bank? The Lunar event is here and Love is a Battle Realm is inconsistent. Yes, hello everybody, welcome to the Marvel Contest of Champions News show for Friday. And remember, just before we get into news, hit the like button and subscribe with post notifications on all if you are indeed new to the channel. And just before we do get into the news, I want to give a massive thank you to my current Patreons and YouTube members, you're on screen now. Thank you so much for supporting the channel through that means. And as well, those that support over on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive. We had a lot of the live streaming. Make sure to come back today. We're going to be having a nice relax, maybe a little bit of a Romance Arena Lunar event or the Cavalier Objective Grind today. But thanks so much everybody that does the Prime Gaming as well those that do uh, tier 1 subs, gifted subs, and yeah, as I said, Prime Gaming. If you have Amazon Prime, you can give a free Twitch sub. Just go to links in the description. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. Let us rejoice and begin with the Lunar Event. Yes, the Lunar Event is now in-game. And if you're not familiar with the way that this particular mode works, is it's kind of a, well, just easy-peasy, quickie auto-fight type thing that allows you to gather those red pockets really quickly and as well with little to no effort yes there's a little bit of an energy spend to it but it's not ridiculous especially if you do it on the free on the cheap by doing one lot of it one day with your seven well to be honest you could do it in one day you just gotta wait for your, your 70 energy to refill the latter part of the day and you're like done this and you can get some free units you can get some free tier one alphas you can get some of those pockets those uh, tickets yeah, it's good stuff. The event also comes with a gifting system per se. Similar to what we've got at the moment with the Valentine's card tickets, we've also got red envelope tickets where you can transfer, trade, give, gift, whatever you want to call it, to other alliance mates or friends. And it does help towards the Lunar New Year gifting where there's some, there's some good stuff on offer. You know, right at the very end, we've got uh, a nice amount of tier two alpha. It's not gonna be like completely game breaking, but that's not really what this is all about. It's just some added extras. That's nice to celebrate the uh, the Lunar New Year or Chinese New Year. And some of these red pockets or greater red pockets can actually yield a nice amount of units with uh, Demolisher showing this screenshot over on Discord, showing that like in one, he managed to get himself 188 units, which is pretty nice. But then over on the forums and a few other discussions in various different places on the Discord, I've seen a little bit on Facebook and also a little bit on Reddit, is people questioning as to whether or not there is meant to be a further difficulty to the Lunar side quest, and this has never been the case. If you are new to the game or if you've played the game in the last uh, three, maybe four years, I mean, I can't remember when this first started, so I want to say because I've played since 2015, January 2015, I'm pretty early in starting the playing of this game. I can't remember it in 2015, but then I'm trying to remember what happened six years ago with every little event that drops in this game. I want to say that I really remember it more from the last four years, so it could be a case it's been running longer, but it's always been a case that it's been very much tailored and the same because then it allows everybody to have a go. The same way that Gwen pulled out the movies, if you remember that event, is something that, again, it wasn't like difficult, but it allowed everybody to have a go. And I hope that Kabam return back to them type of events from time to time. And I'm glad that they do this, this one each year that allows everybody to have a go and grab stuff because it's meant to be very much for everyone at the bottom and everyone at the top to grab some freebies some units, some two and alphas, some shards, but mainly I think for endgame players is the unit side of things and the stuff that's going to be helpful for like revives or health potions. The many lunar events are available for the next 14 days so make sure that you are around to kind of like get this done and smashed out. It's a very kind of like easy auto fight stuff. I mean I'm recording this now and auto fighting at the same time in order to you know I don't have to concentrate, which is which is good and healthy on like me doing stuff and as well kind of like playing the game at the same time. It's a win-win, baby. Right, quickly moving on, and I think we've got a problem with Ronan. Yes, Ronan, the champion that is meant to interact very well with buffs. His abilities is the Supreme Accuser judges the target, punishing them for their use of their buffs effects. Uh, increased attack per active buff effect and then uh, Ronan's stun of debuffs also gain um, X amount of seconds of duration increase for each buff the opponent has. Very very nice ability, very handy in specific set of circumstances and especially this month against the likes of uh, Super Scroll and a few others as well. However though, things have now changed with, <laughs> with the champion's ability now looking like this. Rocket makes fur fly with up to 595 
uh, 0.22 increasing critical rating for each hit in the combat meter. And then Ronan debuff, Ronan stun debuffs also gain a 0 0.2 second, second duration increase above uh, for the opponent has. So I don't know what Kabama playing out here. It's a bit kind of like sus and weird that the abilities are kind of like merged. I haven't tested out the champion, but I assume it's still working as it's intended to be, especially by what it's built as, rather than what is in written here. Unless, as I said, Kabam may be up to something, they may be doing something, maybe they will, maybe they won't. But, uh, yeah, we'll keep an eye on that one. Although Kabam's a bit has responded to this thread to say we've let the rest of the team know so that they can take a look, and I hope that it's just a visual bug and nothing more than that. Next up, and Love is a Battle Realm. There are problems in Love is a Battle Realm. Still, well, let's have a look. First of all, for a lot of players still asking a question, and it's surprising that people are still asking a question after the first week is, why is the next chapter not opening? Yes, I, I kid thee not, there are still people out there asking about that. It's a weekly based thing. It, they, they do one chapter a week. It's it's how they, I mean, they, they read it down, you know. I know there's people still going, why? Why can't it just be all in one go? Because it is what it is. I, I don't really know what to say about that. But look, the problem is the romance synergy may not be consistent with showcasing the interaction with the node. So what's going on? Well, first of all, Kabam acknowledged that it was a bug. Even if you took a romance synergy, at times it wasn't interacting correctly. I think I took in two romance synergies and it was fine. But there was people that were taking one singular romance synergy. But then it's like, I don't know, some stuff is all very skewed. And maybe there was a bug, a specific bug with different devices. And just, you know, the stuff that goes on with this game. Like the persistent charges thing. That's still a problem, right? That is so much of a problem. But Kabam don't know how to get it sorted. They are trying to work on it, but it's all their end. Any case, so somebody put, Darth Sirius says, so what's going on here, Kabam? Last week, I noticed a lot of people still getting stunned, even though they had romance synergy. Didn't happen to me. Today, during my second run at the event, my Cat Marvel movie is constantly getting stunned. Didn't happen on my first run on the A side. Now I'm getting it on the B side. I'm using the same team, by the way. So when is this going to get fixed? Yeah. Now there have been many people that have been responding to say that they've had the problem as well with Boogeyman saying, yep, stun reflected again for me on a heroic difficulty, second quest of second chapter Deadpool node using Archangel and Psylocke synergy, which is a clear romance synergy uh, set of champions. If you've experienced any issues with Love's of Battle Realm, make sure to give your feedback with a forum thread, link is in the description down below. Okay, next up we've got to talk about the piggy bank. Spider-Ham's piggy bank is back and is actually a bit broken again. Yes, we're going to go over the acquisition of it and what happens when you acquire it, but also the fact that it is broken right now. Why is it broken, Rich? You're probably going to ask that. Well, actually, whilst I've been recording this video and while I've been auto-fighting through the Lunar event whilst recording the MCOC news, it has actually reset itself. Yes, it's reset itself. It gives no indication that it will reset itself or could reset itself, but... Um, yeah, it comes up coming soon. Although, if I've got the info and as well got the clip, there should be a showcase of me actually getting it whilst I've been recording this video and then it's just gone. And am I the only one experiencing that? No, there are actually other people. So I looked on the forums just to kind of go like, is it just me? Is it just me that seems to be that? But no, funny enough, this morning, Somebody said, I had one more fight to fill the piggy bank when I was in arenas, finished the three fights and the bank reset. Now I can't get what was offered. With other people even saying the same thing. And I'm sure more people will say exactly the same as well. There must be a point where you've at least, kind of like when you filled it, you've got to literally grab it that second. Otherwise, wait, I don't know, 10 to 20 minutes like I've been doing trying to record this video. And then all of a sudden, it's gone and you're there like, oh. The biggest thing to point out about this is value and what you perceive to be the value of this. The piggy bank gives you 80 units, that's a given. It also gives you one level one revive, let's say that's worth 20 units, so we're up to 100 units worth of value. And then the other stuff like the level four health potions and as well the uh, times two level four team health potions uh, are down to perspective of how much value you perceive that to be or whether or not you care for that type of value especially when you do a lot of end game content it may be a case that you want that in order to add more hit points to champions of uh, of six star maybe even five star 
But that's the thing, you're going to have to make that decision of whether or not, and I believe you can buy this multiple times, whether or not that's the thing of going like, if I get this now, will I then be kind of setting myself short if I go for something like the Peter Parker wallet for 135 units? Essentially, when you buy two of them, they kind of equal out in value, but when you buy one singular, it's kind of there. And this is the thing, it's it's going to be up to you whether or not you find any interest with, with getting this. I don't know, with me, I... I I mean, if it's broken now, I mean, can't access it in any case or can't get it. Or I'll have to kind of like wait to see for that minute second that I can actually grab it. But the question would be like, well, what happens when you get the piggy bank? Well, John's got us covered. Link is in the description to his video. He's a subscriber on this channel and as well a Prime member. So this is the piggy bank being opened, which you can see. It's like smashed. I love the graphics. I think that's pretty cool. And as well, like you can see, you can actually get it again. So that's, again, it's an option for you whether or not you feel like you want to stack them on, especially compared to other things out there. This may not be an option for you to pick up. But still, I love the graphic of the piggy bank being smashed open. I think that's really cool, similar to like a, a crystal or something like that. But also, shout out to Clobber in Time who posted this on Twitter. And it just showcases the little pig there. Just kind of like, it does a little kind of like movement, like a little piggy would. So that's, uh, that's adorable. And I wonder if that was the reason that caused the developer to, uh, to have this crash several times and affect the game going down several times. Because that... That ain't, <laughs> that ain't cool. But yeah, it does look like the piggy bank is broken for some, working for others. And just for me at the moment, and whilst we're recording this video, so you can take that this is actually happening, that it is broken. I'm pretty certain there's nothing extra that I'm missing here. As soon as you unlock it, you unlock it. And then it's a case like, oh, well, I'm going to see about buying it. And then it's like, well, I can't get it because then it just goes to coming soon. So... I mean, I'm just looking at this screen now and going, well, this is, is this, is this on me? It probably isn't. I can't, I can buy anything else that's on in the store. So yeah, it's, um, it's broken, uh, unless it's a reset, but there isn't because it doesn't say anything about a reset. So yeah, uh, I'll let you know what's happening with the piggy bank later on today or to, or tomorrow or even Monday. So we'll do that in Marvel's Con Marvel Contest Champions News for Monday. And we end the week as we normally do with Art Corner. So first of all, shout out to Effwin, who sends through this apocalypse. Vabby submits several pieces of art. Well done. I love, I, I love a bit of shading. That's one thing I'm a bit of a sucker for is lovely shading. Also, Vabby sends through this lovely night scenery. It's very lovey-dovey. Love it. And also this beautiful night sky. It just reminds me of the Aurora Borealis. And finally, everyone sends through this amazing, absolutely amazing sunspot. Just look at the way it's put together. I, I love this. I love anything that's on a black background with then like extra bits to it. There's just something that just like, pops off a lot more. And especially with this, it, it could be like I pick up a comic book and see this exactly as it is. Matt, so cool. There we go, that's me, Marvel Contest of Champions News for Friday. Check out some content located up there that's recently posted. Check out Rich's Realm, where I will be posting today a little bit later on, uh, based on the update changes that Kabam are going to put in in the future. And I'll see you later on. Bye-bye.